Hey everybody, welcome back to Prey. Uh, we're trying to get into this reactor control room. Um, this was the only accessible point from outside. Um, it was coming back into the cargo bay area. So here we are. I'm going to dump a bunch of stuff here at the recycler. And then we're pretty much good to go, I think. I will actually, maybe I'll fire off a couple of medkits while we're here. I can make three of them, which is good, but we are incredibly low. Can we not uh, cover this completely? avoid it. Okay, so the reactor control room is through life support as well. Okay. Would have been good to know. It's all good. We didn't know we had to do this until we went outside anyway, so. Tis what it is. Oh, right off the bat. That's cool. Whoa! Got right up in our grill. Okay, we got electricity bursting all over the place. In artificial life forms, as well as mechanical things, non life form things. Like, look at this. This is not good. Ooh, you can, somebody's here. Somebody's here. Service requests. Yeah, we're gonna need. We're gonna need to get in there. Uh, is there something I can drop? Yep. I just kind of want to wait for this to reset, because it's going to... That glue isn't going to last forever. There we go. Two people have checked out equipment and failed to return it. Ari Ludenart and Roger Meyer. Okay. Jose, annual maintenance is coming up soon in the air mixture regulators and atmosphere. Let Max know about getting a head start. He has a fabrication plan. Equipment reminder. Consider this a friendly reminder that you still have department equipment checked out. It was supposed to be returned at the end of your last shift, even if you tend to check it out again. You can't just keep it until you're done. I know it's a pain, but that's our process, and if you don't check that stuff in today, there will be fines automatically applied to your next pay cycle. So if we want to track down spare parts or a glue cannon, we can track these guys. Um, okay. Suit repair kit fabrication. Uh, we might have a way out up top, actually, now that I see this. Yep, absolutely. Whoa. Oh, yeah, okay. I wonder why that didn't last as long. Oh yeah. 
Looks like you're experiencing some difficulties. Oh, shit. I don't want anything to do with those corrupted ones. They're always problematic. We have a whole area of escape pods here? What? Storage room? We gotta check this place. Damn right. Okay, that's a live turret. Deploying. Join me. That's probably the safest thing is to carry it, set it down, then deploy it so we don't have that Darwin situation that we had recently. Bunch of stuff to recycle. Diagnostic check. Verbose. IFF. Nominal power load. Nominal. Uniform guide we've read. We probably have a bunch of uh, Nero mods right now that we could be using. I'll check that in a second. I just want to throw, like, a random recycler charge in here. Let's see what we can collect. I'll take it. We have a fabricator, but no recycler. Oh, let me guess. This is locked. Whoa! What? There's a couple of things back here. Might have gotten his attention. You know what? I have an idea. Are they coming back here? I think so. Come on back here. Shit. He could still hurt me. <laughs> He's behind. Got him. Wow. Hey, Lane. This is Gus down in Cargo. Hey, listen, uh, did you order any Reployers from Earth? Order any what? Reployer. It's a machine. A uh, machine? What does it do? Well, I'm not sure. I was hoping that you could tell me. <sighs> what? Well, is this some kind of a joke? I I'm, I'm busy. You're an industrial designer, right? So, I thought you would know. You obviously don't understand what I do, and I didn't order any deployer. Reployer. Reployer. But ask somebody <laughs> in engineering. I did. I've been asking everyone. No one ordered it or knows anything about it. 
weird. Well, perhaps I can come down this evening and take a look at it. That'd be great. Thanks, Lane. Yeah. Everybody's concerned about these reployers. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Oh, never mind. Alright, let's repair you as well. Do we have more back here? Look at all these escape pods. Boomy. Oh, he was like right here. Initialize launch. We can just go. Really? No way. Look at all these guys just almost made it. Doctor Yu, it's been three days. I'm following up to see. Was my answer not clear? Not until you give me an answer that makes sense. You've told me about the organisms. You admit you don't know everything about their physiology. I've read the reports, I've read what they can do. Yet the weapons you've provided us are substandard, especially considering the technology present on the station. The Typhon is secure, and your job is to keep the employees pointed in the right direction. You don't need military firepower for that. We are the best for a reason, Dr. Yu. It would be in your interest to invest a little more in light of the unusual circumstances. If even one of those organisms escapes... Thank you for your suggestion, Chief Elazar. I'll take it under advisement. Do not contact me again about this matter. Good job, Alex. Now, why is this one so special? Repair three. We could probably get... We have 21 Nero mods right now. That's actually insane. Acquired. Oh, I see why. Whoa! For science! Research complete. I didn't realize we we're stacking up that many Neuromods. Psychoshock amp. Maybe we should get these corpses out of these things. Okay. Um... Hold on a second. Psychoshock is something we're using all the time. I think we should probably replace something. Speed scan? I don't know that we need that as much. Oh wait, that's mimic detection. Psi cost reduction. Psi pool. Psi power for free. These are all good. But we can upgrade... Our... Where would it be? You know what, maybe we should do metabolic boost for the just general healing. Two additional chip sets in your psychoscope. Let's do that. Let's take the food bonus. And now... We can throw this one in. There we go. So we have... Reduce the initial Psi cost of Morph powers. That's specific to Morph. Reduce Psi cost of Energy powers. Alright. We'll take both. We're good there. This- I wonder if you could just get one of these pods, initialize launch, and be like, I am out of here. You probably could. You probably could. But I also wonder if there's other people that we could save. To have like, to say, hey, we've got all these escape pods like, ready to rock. Oh yeah, look at that food. Went from 57 to 67. Plus the little... Oh, that's huge. I should have got that so long ago. Okay, 
this looks unsafe. I am going to... Ready to scan. Bring these guys. Oh, and now we can fortify because we have repair three. That's cool. We have like twelve hundred ammo for this thing. Water treatment facility. Whoa, since when can we do that? Wonder if I can attract this thing's attention. Oh, yeah. Can I draw him out? Got a crit. He doesn't he's not sure where it came from. This is pretty brave, not gonna lie. Alright, come on back. Not me! Thank you. Couldn't even. My turrets are now too strong. My turrets are too strong. There's a lot of things we've learned about the, uh, the different Nero mods. I, I would have done things completely different. Knowing what we know now. Like, just based on what I've been using, what I... What kind of fits my style. Okay, so this is taking me... Th I have to leave this area. Deploying. Scanning target, target material inconclusive. Logging calibration request. I wonder how much damage these things can really absorb now. To scan. Governor. What's the governor do? Increases the duration of machine mind and mind jack abilities. Uh, okay. We don't really use that as much. Whoops. Too far, too fast. Three. Reagan area signaled the end of the government's strong support for the space race. It's now belonged to the interested few, those who could afford it. Historians argued that had Reagan pushed for military justification. Okay, yeah, we read this one. Diagnostic check. Verbose. Supervisor authorizing this request certifies that all safety factors have been considered and are satisfactory. Area of work, life support, water treatment facility. Installment of the psychoactive particle injector, henceforth PPI. I would like to get your approval to connect the PPI to the station water supply. In essence, the PPI will alter the composition of drinking water by one part per million by mixing exotic particles at regular intervals. Imbibing the water should positively impact psychoactive potential. Approved by Kelstrip. Requires director signature? No. What? They put it in the water? No way. Search for the psychoactive particle injector. The PPI.
They're mixing in such a small amount, but over time, you would develop these powers, or at least make you more, uh, make your body more ready to accept them. that come from? Checking for updates. Servers offline. Jesus. We have a recycler here. Whoa! He's gonna hurt my turret. Oh, just barely. It's a scratch. Okay, it looked like this was off, but I guess not. Got him. If I was the PPI, I'd probably be in one of these offices up top. Waste processing down below. There's more of them roaming. You can hear them. Like this guy. Oh, he's coming up. Okay, well, if we know that that can get us down there and back up, then let's check it. See Price Broadway for access. Delivery schedule. Chef Mitchell expects these things on time or it throws off his menu for the whole week. Half get packed whole, half gets butchered for jelly. What the hell? They do the eel scraps down here? In the water plant? These are all eel tanks, I guess. Eel harvesting console. So they bring down the tanks and they harvest? Okay. Some weird shit happening here. Now the question is, how- oh, there's- we'll use the- we'll use the stairs. Why don't we just use the stairs? Probably a good idea. Good boy. I don't think we can hit that. Monitoring station. We just 
got told to find it. Investigate Horde and Baffles map. Oh, cool, okay. We just read that. Abigail Foy, harvesting protocols. Make sure your crew takes extreme caution when handling the harvesting equipment. Recently, a bottle of old Sardar bourbon, empty, was found in a batch of eels we sent up, and I can only assume someone in our division accidentally dropped it in the tank. No one wants to chew glass when they bite into our unagi roll, or anything else for that matter. Oh, well, not to mention that everyone's just getting hammered while they're working. No big deal. No big deal. Look at the inside of these tanks. They're, like, active. That's cool. Backlash reactor. It's a suit thing. We already have one. Return damage on the attacker. Um, with our other Neuro mods, maybe we just hold on to them? Rapidly- oh, the phantom shift could be cool. Or we go into Mindjack- th Mindjack 2. Or no, Psycho Shock 3. 90 damage and nullify for 20 seconds is massive. The Nightmare Frick. Vodka. Oh, that's probably the password. Where is it? He will probably ruin my turrets, which is my primary concern. Unlock processing terminal. Per water treatment facility protocol 3457, eel processing cannot occur until processing room terminal is unlocked. Gotcha. That's that thing down below. Emails. I care. From Emily to Price. Price, I've always had your back, but you're pushing things too far right now. You have to get a grip. People are noticing, Price. People higher up than the chain than us. Quit avoiding Dr. Cole and go talk to him. I believe you can get through this. Let me help. Working under the influence. <laughs> Matthias Cole to Price, copying Illusion. According to the information I've received, you pose a danger to yourself and those around you. He's obviously... The password gives it away, but he's the, the one dropping the stuff in the tanks. I cannot overstate the seriousness of attempting to perform your duties in the station while under the influence of alcohol. I've written a prescription for you. You must take the medication, refrain from alcohol, and remain in crew quarters until we can meet. You're temporarily suspended from duty, and Chief Illusion has concurred. I guess the nightmare, he's hunting us, but he's not in here. Eel extraction. The containment tank automatically monitors eel growth and will filter out juvenile eels. Oh. Whoa! No! Oh my god. Don't panic. Everything's cool. Oh no, that's not what we wanted. Where's my glue? I must scan! Oh, never mind. But there's price. Holy shit. Is the PPI in here? The note. Eel tank maintenance manual from Abigail to Price. Eels do a pretty good job of eating up all the waste, but there's buildup that even the eels can't clean off, so we have to scrape the tank every month. First, run the harvesting utility to clear any mature eels. Utility is on the tank workstation. When that's done, you can enter the tank. I'd also suggest shutting off your effluent flow valve, unless you just like taking a shower in your coworker's toilet water. And please watch your step. They're mostly blind, but they have a nasty bite. You don't want to get wounded in that water, trust me. Shit. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. 
Okay, so... We don't know where the PPI is, though. Tobias Frost. Oh. A message from Tobias Frost mentioned a psychoactive particle injector he wanted to connect to the station's water supply. If I can find and connect it, drink it from the water fountains and faucets in the station. Oh, okay. It might give my side an additional boost. Oh, that's one way of looking at it, I guess. <laughs> I didn't consider that. Tobias Frost may have the psychoactive particle injector. So we'd have to track that guy. This kiosk is leading us back out, so we don't want to hit that quite yet. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of one of these, because I'm not really using them as often. And I guess we're gonna head over to the reactor now, which was our original plan, but then we saw this place. But to be fair, the... This is leading us to a new area anyway. Version you know what, though? This might... Whoa. Because that's the escape pods. Upper level. Which, we don't know what's up there. Reactor control room's right here, so why don't we hit that first and then our way back through. We go and check out the other... Ah, uh, but if it's in the same area, we don't have to leave the area. Level one has an operator dispenser. Okay, let's go up. Calibration request. Okay, we've got to get our glue back in its normal spot here. There we go. Oh no, this is just our way back. Okay, it is taking us outside. Oh shit. But there's the stairs over here. Psionic aptitude available. Yeah, that initial blast that we do does so much damage. It's like, even if we nullify it, for the longer period of time, it's the additional damage that it does that just wreaks havoc. Okay, so we've got a locker room. Oh boy. Atmosphere controls. Okay, we got lots going on here. It's like... A little kid in a candy shop. There's so many things to do. It's kind of exciting. I'm just trying to get a... Exit to lobby. Let's just check this area. Got a broken turret. Oh, med bay, nice. Ooh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, actually, hold on. Before I blow everything up in here. Neural Horizon we've read. Requesting new operation. Shit! What was that? Transstar pyramid for night. Diagnosing. Looks like you had a rough day. This won't take long. All better. You can fill out a service questionnaire at the front desk. Okay, operator. Come out here. Or don't. I can always get it, grab a new one. Oh, he survived. 
I had faith. Okay, so. This is blocked, that's good. This is death, that's bad. Stash in the hall by the escape pods, no time to rig a drop, good luck. Why'd, ever, why'd somebody go crazy with the glue gun? And the West stood tall. In 1964, President Kennedy turned his back on American interventionism. But what if America had stood up for its allies in Vietnam? Would communism still reign in the East? Would the Iron Curtain have fallen? Renowned political commentator Lance B. Jenkins weaves a gripping alternate account of the days following the Gulf of Tankin incident and what might have been if America had gone to war in 1964. Jenkins' historical imagination is meticulous, majestic, poignant. 10 out of 10. The Liberty Herald. just in case. Oh, I see. Okay. So we've gone around. Um, we've got a security office here. Do not share with Weber. Security booth safe code. 6508. Okay. Do you have a code to get into the door? Like Chief Elazar. Oh, I no and code. five of my officers, plus one civilian, are sealed in the cargo bay. Attempts to reach the escape pods have failed. Escape pod malfunction, it seems. All of them. Almost oh. three dozen lives were lost as we attempted to correct the problem. But we were forced to retreat, only to find the elevators had also been locked down. With no other option available, we secured ourselves in the cargo bay. Officers Teague and Remmer. In order to help the last remaining survivors, attempted to mount a rescue operation. We are surrounded. The creatures on the station, they have escaped confinement. As expected, standard munitions proved ineffective. The creatures began to multiply among the people they killed. We are fortifying our position, looking for anything that could help us defend ourselves. If we do not survive, commendations are in order for officers Hayashi, Hertz, Haig, Kuhl, and Rose, and posthumous commendations for Damn. Teague and Remmer. So they Hertz, tried to get to those escape com, pods. See if you can raise anyone on the station through the announcement system. Then. They tried. Okay, I wonder... I'm trying to see if I can... I hit the screen. Oh, you know what? No. Okay. It's hitting it, but it's not quite doing what we need it to do. Is there anything I can... Read that. Inspecting. Your suit suffered some wear and tear. I'll do that. Okay, we've got the map. Watch out. And we know the safe code. Thank you. 
What the shit was that? There was a recycler charge on the other side. Moving. I wonder what the other way of getting in there would be, or if that was one of the only ways, maybe. Like, I'm looking around the ceiling. Oh, maybe a way through here or something? Operator approaching. No, there's no way to get in here. Like, from up top. Okay, priorities. You know you think I screwed you over, I'm just doing my job, what am I supposed to do? You tell me I'm having nightmares, you feel compelled to hide out? Well, that's fine, but when you say you want to find a bunker, stock it with supplies, and get your hands on a shotgun? Not cool. We're getting along so well, but I guess we have- we all have business from now on. We have to be all business. Corrective action from Alizar. I'm aware that you've made repeated attempts to requisition a shotgun, a weapon that's clearly outside your duty description. That you didn't come to me with this first is unfortunate. You've been a dedicated officer, so I'm not jumping to any conclusions, but as precaution, your access to the safe and the life support security station has been revoked until we can sort this out. I've been there, Alton. This job can be stressful. I won't turn my back on you, but I have to follow procedures. I'll contact you shortly to set up a meeting. Missing engineer. Life support engineer Jean Farr's last known location, or last known duty, was to repair life support related machinery in the power plant. In addition, she has one remaining key card to air filtration control. Life support engineer Jean Faure. Okay. Please pay attention. So, I think we're going to take a break here and uh, when we come back We'll, uh, we'll continue on. We obviously can't go through any of these things. We have to go and get that, that power online. Uh, which is in this area, but we've just Hello. been Good spending time again, Dr. Yu. doing other things. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. It just is what it is, so. I'll get us ready to go down to the actual power control station. And then we'll take a break. Alright, so, uh, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you watching, and, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.